Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you're new here and you want more maths content, then please consider subscribing. If you learned something, then hit that like button. I hope you enjoy my video. Hey guys, welcome to part two of sketching quadratics. In the last lesson, we looked at how completing the square links to find the turning points of a quadratic and also transformations of the x squared graph. Now we're gonna tie all of that together to do a full sketch of a quadratic by labeling the roots, the y-intercept, and the turning point. So we know that the roots are where the quadratic meets the x-axis, so we make y equals zero. Usually we can factorize to do this, or we can complete the square or use the quadratic formula. The y-intercept to a quadratic is just the term independent of x, and we're gonna practice our completing the square. So question one, practicing this skill, is to sketch the graph of y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12 and find the coordinates of the turning point. Interestingly, completing the square actually answers all of this. So I'm going to do that first. In fact, first I'm gonna write down what the y-intercept is. So the term independent of x is minus 12. So the y-intercept here is zero on the x minus 12. Now let's complete the square. So we'll say y equals, Remember, we half the middle term, so it'll be x minus 2 squared. Then we subtract this number squared, which is 4. And then we write minus 12 at the end. So we get y equals x minus 2 squared. Then we have minus 4 minus 12, which is minus 16. So our turning point is at 2 minus 16. Now remember what it's doing to the x squared graph. So the x minus two will shift it to the right by two, and the minus 16 brings it down by 16, which is why the turning point is at two minus 16. So I can put that here, for example, two minus 16, and also it crosses the y-axis at minus 12, which I can put, say, here. Remember, it's just a sketch. So overall, my quadratic has to look something like this. Now we can work out where it crosses the x-axis by just making this equal zero. So if I make it equal zero, I can move the 16 over, I'd get x minus two squared equals 16. I can square root both sides, I'd get x minus two equals plus or minus four. And then I move the two over, so x equals two plus or minus four. 2 plus 4 is 6, or 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So we have 6 and minus 2 here. In this example, you could have just factorized, but I'm just showing how by completing the square, you answer everything in one go. A little bit more difficult. Sketch the graph of y equals 5x plus 3 minus 2x squared, and find the coordinates of the turning point. Write down the equation of the line of symmetry. So... Here, the number independent of x, which is the y-intercept, is 3. So we'll cross the y-axis at 0, 3. Now let's practice our completing the square. I'm going to write as minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Now in order to complete the square, we need to factorize out the minus 2 first from the first two terms. So we'd get x squared. Then the 5, we have to divide it by minus 2 will become minus five over two x. Then we have the plus three. Then we can complete the square. So we have minus two, use a square bracket, half the term coefficient of x. So we get x minus, when you half five over two, you double the denominator, will become five over four squared. Then we subtract this fraction squared. When we square that, it becomes 25 over 16. Then we've completed the square, close the bracket, add the three at the end. So now we multiply in the minus two, it'll be minus two lots of x minus five over four squared. Then minus two times minus 25 over 16 will be plus 25 over eight. And then we have the plus three at the end. So when we simplify that, we get minus two x minus five over four squared. Now, 25 over 8 plus 3, we can rewrite 3 as 24 over 8. 
And then we have 25 plus 24, which is 49 over 8. Okay, so what transformations of the x squared graph is this? Well, x minus 5 over 4 will shift the x squared graph to the right by 5 over 4. The 2 stretches it in the y-axis by a scale factor of 2. The negative makes it upside down. And then the 49 over 8 is going to move it up by 49 over 8. So its turning point is at 5 over 4, comma, 49 over 8. So it's at 5 over 4, comma, 49 over 8. And we also know it crosses the y-axis at 3 which would be something like here maybe. So our graph, as best you can, will look something like this. And now we can work out the roots. Yeah. Now if you want, you can just use the quadratic formula or you can factorize. Um, you can do whichever way you want. I think most students here would uh, use the quadratic formula. But I'll show you how you would do it if you wanted to use completing the square. So on the top here, you would make this equal zero. So you're going to say minus two x minus five over four squared plus 49 over eight equals zero. This, this make it positive. So you'd get two lots of x minus five over four squared equals 49 over eight. Divide both sides by 2 to cancel out this coefficient of 2. We'd get x minus 5 over 4 squared equals then 49 over 8. When you divide that by 2, you get 49 over 16. Then we square root both sides and we get x minus 5 over 4 equals. When you square root this number, you square root the 49, which is 7. You square root 16, which is 4. Don't forget plus or minus. Then we move the minus 5 over 4 to the other side. We get x is 5 over 4 plus or minus 7 over 4. Then we just read. So we're going to do 5 plus 7, which is 12, divided by 4 is 3. Then we're going to do 5 minus 7. 5 minus 7 is minus 2. Over 4 is minus a half. And that is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And this is our final solution. Thank you guys for joining me in sketching quadratics. Stay tuned for my next video, still on quadratics, but how we apply it to solving inequalities. If you enjoyed and learned something, please hit the like button. If you want more maths content, then make sure you subscribe with the notifications turned on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.